So today we're going to talk about a shampoo that I've never heard about before. It's called DHT Blocking Shampoo. It's a hair loss shampoo that promises to block one of the main causes of hair loss and obviously regrow your hair. So we're going to talk about uh, the ingredients, the reviews, and eventually I'm going to tell you whether it's worth buying or not. Keep watching. The company who make this shampoo have been established for 10 years in the United States and uh, there's a nice story behind how they started. Uh, the owners had some hair loss problems and uh, they couldn't find anything suitable on the market um, to treat their hair loss and they came up with this idea of this shampoo, uh, which is a nice story. So this shampoo, as I said, came to my attention very recently. I've never heard about it before. Uh, let's dive in. The first thing I need to explain is this shampoo promises to block DHT and regrow your hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain what DHT is. DHT is basically the hormone that causes hair loss. So all of us have testosterone in our body, whether you're a man or woman, obviously men have a lot more testosterone than women, and that testosterone gets converted in the body to DHT, which is a more potent form of testosterone, and that DHT circulating in your scalp will cause hair loss in individuals who are predisposed, for example, people who have genetics uh, for hair loss and so on. So if you can block the DHT, then obviously you will you know, improve the state of your hair loss. So let's talk about the packaging. The packaging, as you can see, is nothing exciting. It's quite bland. Uh, it looks like something Aunt Betty made in her kitchen shed on, you know, over the weekend. Uh, so it's nothing to get excited about. But we're not buying this for the packaging. We're buying it because it will help with our hair loss. So let's talk about the ingredients. The ingredients is a blend, it's a proprietary blend of over 20 herbs, seeds and oils. Uh, I think they must have patented it. And the question is, are any of these ingredients proven to block DHT, which is the reason we buy, we're thinking about buying this shampoo. And to answer that question, I went on their website, on the maker's website, and to be fair to them, they have some really good information on the ingredients. They actually have a section for the ingredients on their website. And I went through that section and um, to be honest, the ingredients are good. Um, they benefit things like, um, you, know, you know, dry hair, scalp conditions like dandruff and fungal infections and dermatitis. They strengthen the roots of the hair. They uh, provide nourishment for the roots of the hair. Most of them do this and the makers state this on their website. But we're not buying this for any of these reasons. We're buying it because it will help reduce the state of our hair loss. And in only one or two ingredients out of the list of over 20, did I find any evidence that they have been shown to block DHT. And even then it was literally one or two studies, as in one or two studies here and there, nothing else. And that tells me that these ingredients are not really proven to block DHT. And what I did was I went into the kind of scientific databases on Google Scholar and various other places and I really struggled to find any solid overwhelming evidence for any ingredients in the shampoo that shows it has been shown to kind of block DHT. This is not to say that this is not a good shampoo to use. As I said, the herbs and seeds and oils in it have other benefits if they don't block DHT and help with hair loss they have lots of other benefits but to market it as DHT blocking is stretching the truth a little bit uh, in terms of what has already been proven I would have much preferred if they marketed it as a kind of a healthy shampoo to have uh, with possibly some benefits for hair loss but to kind of go full whack and say DHT blocking shampoo that's like stretching things a little bit too much. So let me give you some named examples of uh, some of the ingredients in this shampoo and give you an example of what they're good for. The first one is something called Nigella sativa. It's one of the herbs or plants in this shampoo and that is good for a condition of the scalp called Telusion effluvium, which is a kind of a, I think it's a fungal condition or something like that, uh, which is really good. I mean, it's a really annoying condition and anything that can uh, help with that is good. In this shampoo is also a nicotinic acid which improves the flow of blood to the scalp. There's also vitamin E which softens hair. So all these ingredients 
are really good to have in a shampoo. They will help with the scalp uh, health and the hair health. One of the few active ingredients in this shampoo which has any evidence that it helps with hair loss is rosemary leaf oil and in one study they compared rosemary leaf oil with minoxidil which is the active ingredients of Rogaine or Regain and they found that the two uh, regrow hair to the same extent so it's actually an equivalent of Regain. Uh, this is the best ingredient in this shampoo in terms of hair loss but even that it was only just one or two studies that I could find I couldn't really find you know a wealth of studies you know loads of studies in different places which is what I always look for a couple of good points with this shampoo is that it's cruelty free so they haven't tested it on animals in any way shape or form and it can be used for treated hair so if you have your hair dyed or textures or you know treated in any way then this shampoo is not going to ruin that you can use it with treated hair now let's look at some of the reviews so this shampoo is available on amazon so i went on amazon and i tried to find some reviews and to my amazement the page had no reviews um, maybe because no one has done a review but you would have thought anyone selling on amazon their priority especially when their first launch would have been to get some reviews in but there's no reviews on the amazon page so what i did was i went on the walmart page of this shampoo and I saw 24 reviews 23 of those were five stars and the last one the 23rd one was three stars sorry four stars so they had 23 five star reviews and one four star reviews so amazing feedback but when you look into some of the reviews I'll be honest with you they look really dodgy they just looked a little bit fake because the some of them were giving feedback that was way too specific and way too technical like there was one that mentioned uh, this is one of the best DHT blocking shampoo on the market I mean if a lay person buys this they're not going to remember to refer to it as a DHT blocking shampoo they're just going to say something like oh shampoo for hair loss that really worked for me so that seemed like it was a little bit staged a little bit fake uh, but to be fair to them there was also some good reviews as in like normal sounding reviews as well uh, but I'm still a little bit iffy the fact that all the reviews were amazing like five stars apart from one that was four stars it just didn't seem natural maybe because the shampoo is amazing I, I don't know but it just to me it didn't seem natural the price of this shampoo is I'm gonna flash it up here the, the latest price uh, on Amazon uh, so the million dollar question should you go and buy this shampoo to help with your hair loss my answer would at the moment would be no because none of the ingredients have been shown to help with hair loss when I say shown I'm not talking about one or two studies here I'm talking about consistently over several studies over a big number of people none of the ingredients here meet that criteria but is it a bad shampoo definitely not it's a good shampoo it's got a lot of beneficial ingredients herbs oils uh, seeds extracts that will help with various scalp conditions you know dryness flakiness certain scalp um, ailments like uh, telusion effluvium or dry scalp so it has its benefits i would have preferred if they marketed it for what it is not for what it's not um, basically this is a health shampoo or um, a healing shampoo that's what should, they should have marketed it as but to go and really push the boat out by calling it a dhd blocking shampoo to try and corner the hair loss market um, I think given the evidence uh, of the ingredients in it uh, is a little bit too much it's not a DHT blocking shampoo so if you're buying it for that purpose then you probably will be dis disappointed with the results anyway that's my two pennies worth um, if you have any questions or any reviews you want me to do leave them in the comments below uh, we'll leave a link to this shampoo in the uh, description below if you want to try it um, you can use that link anyway, that's the end of the video i hope you have a good afternoon take care see you soon